65 right now and my location right now is I'm at 13,812 well negative 13,812 and my Y is 5,524 and up here at the thing is at my stand is close to where I am but you if you put a tent right there on the edge this tree is the one that sticks out at this corner. So let's get up in it and then try to call us in a turkey. We're in here and our decoys are 21 meters away. So hopefully we can get us a gobbler this morning. And we have our camo pulser for anything that comes in range that I want to take out in silent. My 223, in case I see a coyote or a or turkey like start to bust after I shoot one, I will shoot them. And I have my 2 millimeter, and I also have my reverse draw crossbow, and I have tracers with it, just in case a, a big old tom or something is out in the distance and ain't wanting to, well, don't want to come in, or a big old elk or deer. So. Let's just wait here and try to call. Oh, we just had a male Roosevelt elk call over there, so let's try to call it in. Oh, we just had another Roosevelt elk call over there, too. So there's two male elks coming in. So let's give them a bugle and see if they want to come in. <laughs> oh, here's the first elk coming in. And I think back there's the second elk coming in. So we're going to try to drop this first one, and then we're going to try to get that one. We dropped this one, and the other elk did not spook. So let's try to call it in. Actually, this is a whole different elk. We had two elks. We had two other elks. This one... And the other one that was back here that has not quite came in that is right here. So it's not big at all either. So we're going to try to get this one and that one. So here's this one. And let's try to get this one with the pistol. I know I hit it twice, so that other pile of blood over here looks pretty good. So let's claim these ones. This is the first one I shot, and I did shoot it in the lungs and heart. I'm 147. And here's this one. And it scores about 150, probably. 186. Now let's go see the other blood we have on this other one. Well,. Well, we had body back there. We have body right here. Body. And. And body. Body. So we have about six tracks of body almost. Seven now of body blood. So this elk should be dead somewhere up here. But we found my elk out here about 20 meters bedded down, so let's try to take him. And we hit him. But it did not kill him. So let's try to get another one. And that took him down. And last one was a skull. Body, body, body. Alright. So let's keep on going. Well, we moved to a different stand, and we changed it to later times. 
because we were getting no turkey calls, and that's the place I usually do get a lot of calls, but we just had a hen call up on this hill, so we're going to stay here and start the call. So we're up here at the Golden Tree Stand location, pretty much. If you go search up on YouTube, the Golden Tree Stand location, you can probably find it. And this is good for turkey, elk, coyotes, and Roosevelt elk. So, no, black tailed deer. I think I said elk twice. So let's try to call some turkeys and some elk deer and some coyotes in. And we just got a milk elk call. So it is behind us, so we're going to try to call it into as that hen too. And we just had another one call too. So there's two back there. So we're going to try to both get them and this hen. And we just have another male elk call. No, it is the same one. But I did... Alright, there's one right here. But I also see two more elk coming in. And that looks like a big one right there to our left. So let's try to call them in. Alright, there is now four elk coming in. And one big one it looks like. Alright, so now we have five male elks coming in. So, 120 to 190, then we have one right under our stand, and then we have two pretty big ones coming in. So, we're going to take one with the tracer, with a red tracer and the pulser, and then we're going to take the other one with the 10 millimeter. Alright, here's this one right here, 225 to 390, so we're going to take this one out with the tracer, pulser tracer, with a red tracers in it, and then we're going to take the other one right there out with the 10 mil. <laughs> Where's our big one? We did hit him pretty good. And we might have hit that bigger one too. But let's get down and track this big one we shot. So we did get lung and heart, so he should not be far. Alright, I tracked about probably about ten or so tracks of lung blood. So I'm gonna get my dog to track him because I lost the track. So we're gonna see if we hit the other one too while we're at it. I'm pretty sure we at least hit it once, so if I did hit it once, I am going to leave it up there for a while, where it can um, have time to expire. So let me get over here and see if I hit this one, and then I'm, I'm going to grab my dog and track down the big one I shot. And also, I did spook away a gobbler that I did not see. It flew away whenever I was getting out of the tree stand after shooting, and it surprisingly did not spook germ well, when I shot. It spooked right after. So we're gonna try to see if I hit this elk. And we did hit the elk. Body blood though. So we're gonna give it a while to expire. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go grab my dog and track down this big one. And this elk I did shoot looked like a mounter. So I'm probably gonna get him mounted. So let's get my dog to track him. Here it is. I have three tracks right there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then I lost the track. And here's my oh down right here. I was getting kinda worried. Because we did find body blood after a little bit of lung blood. But he, sc he scores 351. So I am going to mount him for right now. Let's get a cool trophy shot of him. So that looks pretty cool. So let's take a picture of it. And yes, we are going to mount him. And we can go track down the other one. And in the comments, what big animal do you think I should do no next? A, a Rocky Mountain elk or a reindeer? So I think I'm down to a reindeer, Rocky Mountain elk. Um, there's a hen. I don't know if I'm going to mount a moose unless I shoot like a huge one. And that'll take the red deer stack spot. 
for the bison spot. But for right now, I'm gonna probably go after a reindeer or a moose next. I don't know if I'm gonna do a Rocky Mountain elk because I want one elk, the red deer, and I'm probably gonna do a reindeer next. And then I'm gonna replace the bison with a moose if I kill a huge one. So let's get down here and start to track the big old, well, the second big elk. And I do not know why the turkey are not moving. The only thing that's called was that two hens. And I need a gobbler. So I'm probably gonna hop up in this stand next, or I'm gonna walk my way down here calling and getting this or right here because I'll map out the good areas for turkey and this whole area right here is pretty good for turkey I've killed a lot of turkey I've killed a 67.9 there so hopefully I can look up and kill a 65 plus today but for right now we're going to track down this other elk well my elk I'm tracking just caught her there so I'm going to try to get it so we have him out here at about 30 meters, so let's try to get him. 35 he is. I just dropped him, so let's see where I hit him. Here he is, and he scores, and I did hit a perfect hard shot that shot. 345, so let's get a trophy shot. So that looks cool, so let's get a trophy shot. Except... And let's keep on going, try to find us a trophy gobbler. We have elk out here about 70 something, so I'm gonna try to get it. I wonder if it was like stopping. Well, this one presented a better shot, so we're gonna get it. Well, I hit it. But not that well, so I'm not going to track it because I know I didn't hit intestines. I hit the hind legs. As you can see, whenever he starts to run away, my arrow's in him, and it did hit hind legs. So he's not going to die. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop my dog off right here. And I think I see an elk out there right now. Yep. So we're going to drop my dog off, and we're going to go up here and get in that standard turkey hunt. Well, we actually just got our first gobble. And it was over here. So let's try to call this gobbler in. Well, we have a little turkey out here at about 10, 20 meters, so let's take him. Dropped him, and we also have some deer behind us, I guess. So here's one of the does. So I'm trying to get her. And the other one did not spook. And it's just right here. So here's this one. They did spook after that one. And we also have that female turkey coming in. And I think I see it. I think I see her. Yep. And we also have an elk. So here's this doe. And I just drilled her. And to, just to make sure these hens don't fly away. Alright, wound it. And I totally missed him. But, at least they're only hens. So I'm not gonna freak out about it. So here's this turkey I shot. Get him. And it scores, it scores 40. So I'm not gonna mount it over here. We'll get this doe I shot. One of them dropped. And where is she? Right here's the one I shot and it dropped. And then I shot one over here and one also behind us. And after I find this uh, deer, I'm going to do a little bit of ground turkey hunting. So, see if we can kill anything. Well, you know that one elk I shot in the, in the uh, butt area? Here it is dead. So, I actually hit it in the, yep, pine legs, 182, then my doe should not be much farther. And she ain't, she's right here. So let's just try to find us a turkey.